Wanna know what my favorite time of year is? It's the volley. And this year we celebrated at the White House with Mayor Eric Adams and at the South Asian Met Gala, AKA the Vali at the Pierre at Taj Hotel. And it was covered by Vogue, the New York Times and more. I got a chance to sit down with the hosts of the event and talk about the guest list and the food and music and entertainment and fashion and all the revelry around the holiday. South Asians have arrived and our kids are gonna be celebrating in a whole new ecosystem where our culture is valued and we celebrate rich traditions from all over the world. So if you have the Bali FOMO, don't even worry about it. Put on your sweats, grab a cup of Karak Chai and listen in to this podcast because you will feel like you were there. You can tune in on my website, that's totalmomsense.com and on all the podcast players. So come celebrate Diwali with me all over again. Happy Diwali to you and your family and Sal Mubarak. Hi, I'm Gabby Bernstein. Hi, I'm Dr. Lise. Hi, I'm Farnoosh Tarabi. Hi, this is Chris Lynn, and you're listening to me on That, that Total, Total Mom But this is That's Total Mom Sense's special Diwali episode, and I couldn't have it without you, Manish Goyal. Thanks so much for being a part of it. I'm happy to be here. Thank you for having me. So tell us the genesis of this huge Diwali event and New York moment that you were a part of. So I was born and raised in Dallas, Texas, the son of immigrants. Growing up, Diwali really represented something of enormous pride for me because it was the holiday that my parents knew. And so it was the one that made them the most excited. Of course, we would force them into Christmas and Halloween and Thanksgiving and everything else, but this was theirs. And I, and I felt it in their eyes and I saw it on their faces when Diwali time would come around. And that's when I basically said, let's start like how it, in, in whatever capacity we can, but let's throw a, a Diwali party that New York hasn't seen before. Now, this is the year to put it on the map, the Indian Met Ball. Right. You know, the, we just kind of said, let's have, so let's have a high focus on fashion. Let's have it be glamorous. Let's have it be, then let's not have it be only South Asian. And so let's try to include others. And we said the goal for us would be a story in American Vogue. I guess lastly, tell us about the traditions you hope to pass on to your son with Andrew. Adrian is really, you know, this, is the, this is so nice to be able to experience Diwali through his eyes for the first time. And so for him to understand that our family has this culture and has these traditions, and so Adrian was fully dressed in his in his Indian wear, and oh, he, I love it. You know, he put a kurta pajama, but then with high tops because you know he's <laughs> he's still got to be a New York kid. I read him the story. You know, the, now of course there's so many great children's books around Diwali. It was really just it, it's great for him, for us. You know, me being a first time parent, his first Diwali, our first Diwali together as a family for us to start to build the foundation that will continue to grow for years and years to come. So now I am with Anita Chatterjee, and she is the founder and CEO of A Game PR. And she was truly the creative mastermind behind what this star studded Diwali event was this year at the Pierre. So, what were some of the highlights for this year's Diwali at the Pierre? wanted to make it an inclusive event definitely make sure that like all the guests were from different backgrounds different religious backgrounds and so we had a great diverse group of people who attended you know we're very happy to see Kelly Ripa and her husband Cal Penn and um, you know it was just great having them there and you know just seeing them enjoy the party and celebrate the holiday and Christiane Louboutin Ronan Farrow you know it was just nice to see them celebrating the Bali and you know, acknowledging another cultural holiday so that was just really nice Nice to see. As you know, fashion is a big part of the tradition of Diwali. People really wear their best. And so, you know, for that reason, we made Chicagoni Shane Peacock, the famous designers, were a part of the event. It was a great event to bring the community together and really to kind of bring more exposure to the holiday by, you know, bringing together our friends who also had been big networks and, you know, can share the party on their social media and their followings. The people will learn more about Diwali and how it's this beautiful holiday that billions of people celebrate. Now I'm with Sakshi Karana and she's the CEO and founder of 360 Partners. 
and she was a host of the Star Setted Diwali event at the Pierre this year. And we can't wait to chat with her and hear all about how it came to be. Growing up, Diwali is, as you know, like one of our biggest holidays, you know, and I have such fond memories of Diwali, like families coming together, um, doing pujas together, just a feast everywhere, shopping, decorating your homes. And when my family moved to Seattle specifically, we sort of lost that. And it was quite depressing, to be honest, you know, like I was, I remember one of the two kids that went, attended high school in our neighborhood. And it was a very different experience for me, whereas nobody knew what Diwali was. Nobody wanted to know what Diwali was. But to see where we've come and how far we've come today, it just puts a big smile on my face because this has always been the goal, you know, especially as a mom. Yes. I have a five-year-old little daughter and I constantly think about what am I doing and how am I passing down our heritage to her? You know, what, what is my part? So yeah, putting together this Diwali party in New York City is such a joyous time of the year for all of us. We take such pride in it. <laughs> um, and it was really nice to see everybody be supportive from the community. And what are some thoughts or advice you have for uh, the audience and it's multicultural? One thing I that I personally love for Diwali around our holidays is taking moments to slow down. I've learned, um, and especially as a mom, as an entrepreneur, I've learned how important it is to just slow down, take a moment, be present. And a lot of us don't get the opportunity to do that because we're constantly on the go, go, go. Whereas I highly encourage everyone just slow down and, you know, be, take note of your life and everything we've accomplished so far and who we're around, who we're surrounded by. And these are moments to just cherish it all. Next up is Alvina Patel Baksani, brand and communications architect and investor. And it's so wonderful to see so many South Asians in leadership roles and, um, you know, taking on um, just the prominent industries that we have. And, you know, if you want to just shed light on that, on some of the um, A-listers who came and why. Yeah, I think, you know, really there's um, an interest and a curiosity about the occasion, but more than anything in working in fashion for so many years, I've had so many people say to me, I want an occasion in which to wear these clothes that's appropriate, right? We talk a lot about cultural appropriation. Diwali is a time when anyone can participate in the festivity and part of it is what you're wearing. And so, you know, talking to um, a lot of people across the board um, from Kelly Ripa, who was like, are you sure it's okay? And I said, of course, it's okay. It's a celebration. And finding something that she was comfortable wearing from, you know, a fit perspective, but also from a color perspective and a comfort perspective was really beautiful. Another, you know, woman who was there, Tina Lung, who is an amazing um, fashion editor, stylist. And, you know, she has this light blue hair and she picked this Anita Dongre Langa that just really accentuated everything about her and nothing about it looked out of place. And so it was really fun to see how inspired people got and how much they leaned into the idea of it without treating it like a costume, but really treating it like a beautiful gown to wear for an evening out. And to think, you know, I actually had hosted a Diwali function at my kid's school. I have three kids under five. And it was um, so natural and organic for everyone from all backgrounds to wish one another happy Diwali and to see everyone coming together and lighting diaz and making rangoli. It just, it made my heart feel so full because it was not that way growing up as immigrants in the States. Yes, definitely. I think, you know, our children will have a completely different experience with this holiday growing up here. Um, our son goes to a school that already gave the volley off on Monday. And, um, and it was really nice to see that it was recognized. Same thing, kind of being able to tell the stories and really the story that it doesn't have to be religious. It's really about what everybody needs right now, right? Like thinking about light and knowledge over darkness and evil and how, you know, really you want to put yourself in the path of 
people and occasions that make you feel good and want to do good things. And that's really what Diwali is about with a fresh start and taking a look at all of the things that are positive in our lives and really emphasizing that. That's beautifully put. That's exactly the essence of the holiday. So chances are, if you've come across an ornate Indian outfit that has <laughs> feathers and sequins, it's more than likely Falguni and Shane Peacock, who are the masterminds behind the creation. Today, they're joining me for our special Diwali episode, and we're going to hear from them on how they outfitted so many celebrities and A-listers for the premier Diwali event in New York City. You're trailblazing and always ahead of the trends year after year. Uh, I think we try to keep it very relevant and on trend every season bring it with uh, different collections or the different uh, labels that we have to offer. So I think uh, we keep growing as a brand and keep changing and changing the looks of how we would like to take the brand ahead. Yes. And you know, what I love is that you're not touted as just, you know, bridal wear. It's something that's formal wear for all occasions. And, you know, the proof is in the Diwali uh, celebration that you had outfitted everybody. So um, tell us a little bit about that, how everything's very lightweight and wearable for really any function. I think that's, uh, that's one thing we've about Falguni and myself have been working from the last couple of years trying to make each and every outfit as light as it could get because we understand that Indian functions they're very long yeah you know, and people like to dance and people like to have a lot of fun so I think uh, the outfit plays a very important role in, in uh, the behavior or the mood of the person so the lighter it is the much the better so the per so the person can go throughout the night with, with having fun Yes, exactly. So tell us about the Diwali function and, you know, the themes that you kind of carried out through the um, celebs that were wearing, you know, your creations. You know, this time I wanted everyone to have fun. We wanted to keep nice, light, beautiful langas. I think it was been a constant, uh, like back and forth every day, we're discussing about where you're going to do it, how big we want it to be. And I think they put a great effort in in first putting this across and i think in the past one month when we were working on these outfits you know we actually you know i knew who we were dressing and then we worked on them according to their styles so they fit in really beautifully in it you know we wanted to do completely different looks for everyone we didn't want the looks to be you know monotonous and repetitive so yeah, it's taken a lot of time and effort to get this to be done together, but it was really amazing. Yeah. I think also Diwali as a celebration is, uh, you know, uh, something that everyone looks forward to. And Diwali in India is celebrated like, you know, it's a long 20 day festival. <laughs> we we'll need to dress up, you know, bring out all the Indian wear, wear saris, wear lehengas, wear kurtas, you know, get all their jewelry out and play cards and, you know. There's so much of celebration, so it's such a nice feeling to see the same thing happening over here. Yeah. There have been so many Diwali parties here in New York City, and it's really good to see everyone meeting up and partying and getting their Indian looks out. But tell us a little about the Sherwanis as well. I really love how you had dressed uh, Cal Penn and Manish because they're... Um, their outfits were effervescent and um, so sharp. You know, how did you kind of come up with their looks? I think, I, I think Manish was the prince of the party. Yeah, Manish, <laughs> Manish was wearing, and he, he kept on saying, I'm the Maharaja. Maharaja I'm yeah. the prince <laughs> of the party. And he wore it so well. It was like, I mean, he just knew, you know, that he was looking so good. And, and uh -huh. he was really, uh, you know, carrying it off so beautifully because also the look is such that, it had gold and it was like a deep burgundy. It was not it's a very, a very royal color, dark color. Yeah, it was, it's a royal color, but it's not something that you would expect a guy to wear, you know? So yes, it was exactly. like something very different and he wore it so beautifully. It was really nice, you know? This year has been very eventful for us. We, uh, you know, in June, we had gone to London where we got awarded as best designers uh, doing international work. In the House of Lords, we got awarded. So it was really wow. amazing experience going there. And then yesterday we went to the White House and it was another 
great experience and seeing so many indians celebrating diwali over there and it is such a good time you know for an indian to be in because everyone is respecting what work we are doing across globally whether it is you know people as editors in the magazines or uh, you know bela bajaria for netflix for kamla harris as vp it is just so amazing to see everyone you know excelling so much it's so it's such a proud moment for all us all of us indians you know it really is it really is and i think of you know i have three young kids have twins and a younger one hmm. and i think they're growing up in such a different world and it is so exciting how global and diverse it is and the fact that they get to uh be so proud and embrace their indian heritage because all of their friends who aren't indian are curious and are they're going to embrace it too it's wonderful how far we've come through the decades so thank you so much for taking the time and joining us and thank you for adding your signature style to the valley thank you kanika and thank you for doing this and giving everyone a platform to talk about it Thanks for listening to this very special Diwali episode that's so close to my heart. I think of my childhood growing up when I had to explain what Diwali was and now our children are growing up with the holiday and having a day off from school uh at least those in New York thanks to Mayor Eric Adams. So it's a completely different world and I love that so many cultures and backgrounds and people and luminaries are embracing the holiday. To listen to this episode, you can log on to thatstotalmomsense.com. You can also search for it on YouTube, That's Total Mom Sense Diwali episode with Kanika, and uh, you can follow me on Instagram. That's where I'm most active at Kanika Chadda Gupta, and that's where you'll see all the promos and key sound bites of this special episode. If there are guests you feel should be on my show, email me at thatstotalmomsense at gmail.com. I am so thankful to our community of parents and industry leaders who support this show, and I'm so happy to celebrate Diwali with all of you. A big thank you to Angela, Manish, Anita, Sakshi, Alvina, Falguni, and Shane, and Alpana for making this episode possible. Thanks for sharing your light with the world and bringing Diwali to the masses on a global stage. It's about time, and I'm so grateful to be a part of it and share it with my audience. Thank you again. Happy Diwali and Salam Mubarak. Oh, oh, oh.